beautiful day. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we are on this huge 85-foot boat called the Vision out of Santa Barbara, and we're out here with some of our followers and subscribers. I put out a memo a few weeks ago saying that I was gonna come on this trip and I was inviting you guys. And we got 18 of you guys to come right here with me fishing and we're gonna be free diving on this bow for three days. I was gonna say two days, no, it's actually three days. Um, yeah, looking forward to catching some lobster. We're just doing some rock fishing right now to start with. Hopefully just capitalize on some dinner. We're at the Channel Islands and man, the conditions cannot be any better. Supposedly this is today's supposed to be the the windy day the bad weather day and tomorrow's gonna be really nice, but So far it's beautiful man. Oh my gosh. I love this place the Channel Islands Fish. Yeah. All right. So, so far on the boat, we have uh, actually a lot of white fish that we've been catching. Ocean white fish. They're supposed to be really good. I actually never had it before. Um, and some sculpin too. Sculpin are tasty. Very similar to rockfish. So, doing doing all right so far. Got a fish on. It is pretty. It's a little small. He's a little, a little small. dangerous. Yeah, he's a little small, huh? I'll put him back. Handle with care. Alright, you see his fish in the ocean right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little go. <laughs> Those, uh, I mean, it's a little that small. Not a bad size for that, actually. Really? Yeah. See what's going on on this side. Where's your fish? I stuck him in my ice chest back over there. Oh, oh. the uh, uh, Ozark. Yeah. Uh, another white fish. I'm gonna see what they got over here. Oh, there you go. A little ocean Just white fish. Here. Hey, nice man. Thank you. First one. Okay, let me show you around the boat. I think this would be a good time while everybody's fishing. Check this out. So the inside of the boat looks like this. It's pretty sweet. Old galley. Ton of tables. Counter space. We had our we just had some breakfast. That's the kitchen over here. This is Bailey. Hello. <laughs> She's in charge of the kitchen. But I'm also gonna be cooking as well. So we, we're gonna be cooking it up in there and then you go downstairs into the bunks. Oh. Well, we got like multiple multiple uh, bunch of beds in here. There's like 30 beds in here. And um, it's only 20 of us total. Uh, including me and Jocelyn, so yeah, we got plenty of space. It's pretty sweet. Taku gang occupying the whole boat. Oh, look, we got some fish. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good size, dude. Huh? That's a good size. Want a picture? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. All right. <laughs> oh, another one over there. Fish are coming up. Fish are coming up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, what we got? What we got? Oh, what we got? Oh, no, oh, no, baby has white fish. Big white Ooh. fish. Swim in, swim in. Oh, that's a big one. Heck yeah, dude. There go. Yeah, that's oh. a big one, dude. Dinner, sir. Dinner, baby. Boom. It's rocking the fisherman's life. Where's the outdoor chef life merch, dude? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I should go get my hat. <laughs> Shout out to fisherman's life right there. So the plan is to Don't load mine. up, load up on some dinner. Make sure we capitalize. Make sure we have some something to eat and um, 
This afternoon we'll go for a free dive. Whoa, what was that? Dude? Oh, the seal is trying to get a fish. <laughs> there we go. Another white fish. Nice, dude. I've actually never had these uh, ocean white fish before. Never. No, never. Have you? Me either. Yeah. They'll be. We'll try it. Yeah. Like tile fish. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's cool. Fire. Yeah. There we go. Jocelyn's on. Yeah. There you go. Oh, a sculpin. That's a bigger one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Popped off. See you later. On the first night when we all got on the boat, I, I decided to give a little party favor gift and I had specialized outdoor chef life hats as well as a couple jigs courtesy of Pitbull Tackle and a few other things in there like shrimp flies and uh, sabiki rigs and things like that. Trolling, might as well throw a little line out the back. All right, we're ready to get in the water. Oh, let's go catch some lobster and a bunch of uni. First thing I notice, wow, look at this visibility. This is incredible. We have about 25 foot of visibility. There's Jocelyn. Take the little test dive. And there she goes. And here we go. We got some red urchin right here. And whenever you buy uni in a restaurant and it's labeled Santa Barbara uni, this is what you're getting right here. This is straight from the source. After spending time in the Bahamas this year, I really was into the pole spear. So I got one of these pole spears that I was using out there. And these are for like, you can shoot big fish. So I'm hoping to catch a big fish on this. And that's just the shell of a lobster, I believe uh, a lobster molt. All right, okay. Got a little scallop. I'm gonna check out um, my sea urchin. See how it looks inside. Should open one out there. This one, this one does not look that great. <laughs> It's actually not too bad. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. It's a little small. Look at the scallop. Oh yeah, tasty. Go ahead, man. Cheers, dude. Cheers. <laughs> oh, terrible. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Throw it back. You know, send it back. <laughs> How's your uni? He's pretty good. You know, like I said, the purple ones are always sweeter. Yeah. This one is. Uh, the red ones are a little brightier. All right, so here's the purple urchin. We're gonna do a little taste comparison. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Right on. Wow, it's way more full. Like, look at the yield, the size difference. Hey, dude, that looks so good. It's so full. Creamier, sweeter. Would you say they're the same as the up north in the bay? What do you think ours are better? They were walking around over there. Yeah, everywhere you can see. Water ones are a little bit sweet. You could all stand it over there. Like, there you go. All right, we just finished up our first dive session. 
uh, nice little cove right here that we were in. Um, I didn't shoot any fish, but just uh, just got those sea urchin. And but uh, yeah, a couple of the guys got scallops, got some lobster too. The captain actually was out there too, and he got some lobster already. Uh, we're gonna go lobster diving later on, a night dive. And uh, one of the guys, John, he had he shot three sheephead, and one of them is a nice big one, maybe seven pounds. Uh, so that that's the biggest fish so far on the boat. I'm gonna do a little prep for dinner right now and uh, somebody brought some bluefin tuna that they caught recently so we're gonna make some sashimi with that. Little appetizer before we go for the night dive and have some fish prepped uh, so when we come back we just throw it in the oven and have it ready uh, real fast. All right let's see it John. Man dude that's a nice sheep head right there. Yeah just in there with the beer. Yeah. <laughs> Just all the treasures of the trip. Yeah. Alright, we're pulling up to our next spot. This it looks like a really rocky area, perfect for lobster. Doesn't it? All this structure here. Like imagine all these rocks but underwater. Look how many holes there are. <laughs> perfect. Oh, I can't wait to get in here. Ah, gotta catch me a lobster. Last year I didn't catch any, I don't think. No? Yeah. Oh, this spot looks really nice. I want to dive, but I gotta prep some dinner. Uh, I'm just making something simple today because we're gonna make a, a feast tomorrow. I got some potatoes, got some uh, zucchinis, just some zucchini, uh, meat tomatoes, and we're gonna braise all those white fish that we got as well as the sculpin. The sculpt, braised sculpin should be really good. We got some fresh straight from the farmer's market zucchini all quartered up found it look at this beautiful fish it's gonna be turned into some deliciousness Take a look at this right here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's colorful. That's going in the oven. Yeah, nice Mediterranean flavors in there. Olives, oh, I forgot the capers. Gotta put that in there still. Got the tomatoes, lemons, olive oil, salt. Mix it all in, it's gonna be good. It's about six right now, so we're waiting for the sun to set so those lobster come out and play. And then we're gonna go get them. All right guys, Jocelyn and I are ready. We're heading in. Let's go. Got a little glow stick so we can see each other. <laughs> the we, goal is one lobster. One lobster, because th that'll be your first, right? Yeah. All right. This isn't her first time lobster diving, though. No. Night diving. I run conch, but they can't run for me. Yeah, lobsters are a little bit faster than conch. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Looks really good here. Squid. Yeah. This is squid. Yeah. This is squid. Oh. Can't really see them, but there were squid swimming all around us. I thought it was just sardines, but took a closer look and it was squid. The first 30 minutes, we didn't see a single lobster, but then we started seeing them. I actually got one there, but it was, uh, you can see it right here, uh, but it was a little small, so I let it go. I found some, but they're tiny. <laughs> I saw. Just got one. Let's see if it measures. After I saw that it was a keeper, I let my guard down and it just kicked out of my hand and it got away. Oh my gosh. And the regulations for California, we're not allowed to use anything besides our hands to catch lobster. No tickle stick, no nets, nothing like that. Bare, or not bare hands, but just gloves. That's it.
There's a different one. Stop! It's a You don't expect lobster to be that fast, but they are so quick. And once they get away, they're gone. Ah, oh, dang it. That was a big one. Oh, that was really it. I think this one was just barely undersized too. Where'd they go? They're like back to back to back. Uh huh. Okay, now. There's a nice one in there, just out of reach. All the bigger ones are a little bit smarter. All in all, I really enjoy night diving for lobster. It is a lot of fun, especially when we're diving this shallow. We're only diving 5 to 10 feet and man, there's plenty of lobster running around and it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, guys. Really uh, disappointed in myself there. The keeper that I let go, oh my god, and at the end. Uh, Johnson said she almost had a giant lobster like the size of her torso. The rest of the night we spent hanging out and actually catching some bait for the next day. We caught these sardines and also some squid. Good morning guys. Uh, had a delicious dinner last night. It went pretty late but uh, it was good. And after dinner we actually ended up catching some live squid right off the boat uh, where we were docked uh, for the night. And some of them stayed alive in a little five gallon bucket. So we have some live bait, which is really good for today. Because today we're going out uh, fishing for tuna. And I got up early this morning, started rigging up, and I already have the lines in the water right now. So we're trolling a couple Mad Max. Uh, one of them's back about 230 yards behind the boat. So hopefully something gets hit. But uh, we're seeing some life out here and they've heard I've heard that there's been some bluefin in the area, so fingers crossed on today for a big fish. We started off by trolling a couple Mad Max behind the boat, uh, about 230 yards behind the boat. Alright, come on. Beautiful morning again. There's a squid in there. Um, actually, this is jack smelt, and there's a couple mackerel in there too, live. So we got some good bait. Well, this, this is not good, huh? Is this you too? This no. No, no, but 
Yeah, you know, oh, that's yeah, that's my line. That's my rod there. So one of mine and this guy's got tangled. Man, mine's like a half a spool out. We weren't really seeing anything, but the captain found a kelp paddy, so we decided to go for a free dive and check under the kelp paddy. Okay, well there's a kelp paddy right here. We're actually gonna jump in, got my wet suit on. Justin's gonna throw a line in with the live macro. That was the first time I've ever dove a kelp paddy and there was so much life under there. So many little fish. After that, we kept on looking for more kelp patties. Then we started patty hopping from one kelp patty to the next. And we hit about a good, maybe eight kelp patties. So we worked for them. We kind of put in the time and effort in diving those. And we were also looking for, you know, bluefin on the way or trolling the Mad Max again uh, while on the transit between kelp patties. Uh, but we never found any, any, uh, anything big under those kelp patties. Nobody's really home. Any, anything that we wanted to shoot, mainly like yellowtail or maybe some dorado. Uh, that's what we were hoping for. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of those, but still really fun. Got a good time diving those kelp patties. So cute, dude. Son of a baby yellowtail. <gasps> that was cool. Now we're in transit again. We're trolling the Mad Max again. We're just looking for any signs of tuna. In the afternoon, we headed back towards a calmer area tucked in in the islands and uh, we went for a little dive. All right, guys. Hey, we gotta head in. We gotta head in. Yeah. Okay. I shot a sheephead and it took my slip, my slip tip. Yeah, I lost it. I think, I don't know, maybe. I didn't bring it up properly. Well, today was a ton of fun. Anyways, we still have some uh, fish. We got some lobster. Well, the other guys got lobster from last night. And we have scallops as well. Uh, and the uni, obviously. And with that, we're gonna create a delicious meal for everybody tonight on the boat. First things first, I'm gonna make some sushi rice. So I brought my big, large size hangiri right here. So we're gonna make a lot of sushi rice today. Uh, I'm gonna do it in a couple batches. Uh, we have this rice here. We got the coil burners, which is a challenge to cook with because all these numbers mean nothing, I guess. So, let's see. All right, rice cooked still. I have some sushi vinegar here. Alright, everybody's going for a little free dive session. I'm gonna 
prep some dinner. This is a this is a nice white fish that uh, Michael caught. So we're going to fillet him up, and we're gonna try sashimi with this guy. Really clean. I don't think there these fish have any parasites. It's, looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do the other half, and then we'll take it inside, slice it for sashimi, and we're gonna use this for a little sushi platter too. Yeah, this is nice, really good looking white meat. Looks similar to maybe a snapper. Yep. So, boom. See that? Comes out. And then, just like that, you just, oh, well, let's put some salt water in here. We got some finger limes in uh, from one of our subscribers um, from Shanley Farms. Look at this, you guys ever seen a finger lime? It's the coolest thing ever. L little pieces of lime caviar. And they're tasty too, you can just eat them like this. Mm -hmm. And it's not too, not too sour. Perfect, really good. Really good topping for sashimi and then all kinds of stuff. So we dropped some uh, lobster trap yesterday too and in the lobster trap we got some we got an octopus last night so we're gonna use this we're gonna go throw it on the grill oh. <laughs> just contracting look at this octopus it's beautiful I'm just slicing it thin I didn't really do too much as for prep. I did do a little um, vinegar wash, take off a little bit of the slime, and um, I did the salt massage as well, just, just like a real quick one. I'm just finishing up prepping this uni. Look at that, this is all from red uni, red urchin. Looks good. All right, I think I'm done. Just a simple salt and pepper seasoning, a bit of oil on there. Some octopus. Do the same with that. This is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call it on these little guys. There we go. Ooh, so that's just uh, 
It was, I hit it on the grill, <laughs> get a little smoky flavor, didn't finish it all the way. Pulled the meat and just sauteed it on the, on the pan right now and finished it off just like that. Uh, maybe a little lemon juice. Okay, we are done with the dinner. Dinner served. So we have first this little simple white fish carpaccio with olive oil, finger lime, red onion, sea salt, and a little cherry tomato. And we have the grilled lobster right here. I just shaved some Parmesan on top as well. And we have the main right here. Oh my gosh. The Southern California chirashi. There's lobster, there's uni, there's rock scallop, white fish as well, and even octopus. It's garnished with a little bit of cucumbers and some takuan, the pickled daikon, and a little bit of shiso leaves around it. And we have some soup as well. We made some lobster dashi mushroom soup. Little chunks of lobster in there as well. All right. Well, thanks to everybody for coming. Coming on a trip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another successful trip. We've had an awesome time. Whew. Now let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. I, I just finished everything, but the miso soup was really good. good. So good. I'll eat the rice. It's delicious. Already done. I ate every. Oh, I have a little piece of lobster. Piece of lobster. And you have making the ham roll oh, out of the seaweed. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah. Plate. and that's my plate. <laughs> Haven't eaten yet. Oh. How's it? How's it? Yeah. How's it, bro? Good. Good. How's it? Good. I love it. Excellent. Amazing. Thank you. Does it taste uh, as good as it looks on the YouTube? <laughs> better. Better. As good as the thumbnail. As good as the thumbnail. And we're not. We're not done here. Look at this. This is Jason. He's working on some Ivan. some meat right here. Jason and Ivan. Here we go. Did you guys eat? No, we we're, didn't. Not yet. We're about to. Oh, you didn't get get yeah. a plate yet? We got a plate, but we oh, okay. didn't get a plate for Okay. Me. As long as you got a plate, because I was yeah. going to say, that shit is gone. Yeah, so, <laughs> gone. by the way, this is all Jason. I can't take any credit for it. I'm just cutting. Nah. <laughs> this guy. He brought the meat, too. Nah. What a guy. What a guy. We need to All right, guys. This is this is John. By far, he provided uh, the most out of the group with the Captain. fish. Cap Captain Ian also provided us with a ton of lobster that we ate tonight. So thank you, Captain. Yeah, thank you. For the delicious lobster. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I ate a lot of lobster. That was the best lobster I've had. Oh. Oh. Don't tell my wife that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Good work. Good work, everybody. Shout out to Han right here. He helped me tonight prep all kinds of stuff. We all helped. We all pitched in. Yeah. Thank you, bro. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Oh. I've been waiting for this day for like four years to eat Taku's food, okay? Straight up. I'm making my dreams come true today, man. I can't wait. Okay, what, what fish is this? What are they eating? Uh, that's the white fish. The white fish, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Santa Barbara has some of like the best uni in the world, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, for sure. World class. He contributed Yo. to it too. Yeah. I actually helped with the uni. Yeah? Oh, that's really, really good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, bro. You've outdone yourself, man. You're living up to the hype for sure. Making dreams come true. Making dreams come true. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this one. We're going to go do a, one more dive tomorrow morning um, until about noon or so. And we're going to head back to Santa Barbara. All in all, these trips that I've been doing with you guys have been incredible. 
each and just every, every single one being memorable and I definitely do something like this again and this was sort of a last minute trip and it's still able, able to fill up the boat so that was great um, and if you want to come on the next trip make sure to follow me on Instagram I post a lot more on there about when I'm going to do these trips uh, and just day-to-day -day updates uh, well, thanks for watching